Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap, I do a silver solar repair on what turned out to be a really specialised uh, cycle frame. I put it on the Patreon channel early on last week and I've had quite a few comments on this saying it's a real special thing. So if you can have a look and maybe you can get some more comments from uh, some of you lads. I have a look at a drain valve off a Sentinel steam wagon. It wouldn't be a nightcap unless there was a, a bit of Sentinel involved, I suppose. I do a little job for Deb. A uh, little plastic machining job and I also machine a stainless steel nut once again for a central steam wagon. A couple of years ago I put up a video, it was a um, review video from a company called Vivo of a chain block. I wanted a chain block for the garage, Vivo gave us a one, it's decent quality, I did a review and quite a lot of people have put nasty comments on saying I shouldn't do reviews. It says at the beginning of review, if you don't want to watch a review, don't watch it, dead simple. I mean, if I want to put a review on, so I get a free chain block, that's entirely up to me. Um, anyway, just, just do it and watch it. It's dead simple. I spend quite a few weekends away at steam rallies all over the country, and I normally take Debs with us. Um, at the minute, we've been sleeping in a tent, which is not ideal. Uh, Deb puts up with it, but you can tell it's, it's just not for her. Uh, so I've sold my car, and I've bought a little uh, Peugeot partner TP camper van, a two-wheel camper van which should be ideal for us too. Uh, I'm going to buy an awning for it as well. So I'll probably show one or two of our little exploits away with the, the Peugeot van and the camper van just to see how we get on. This is a drain valve of a Sentinel steam wagon. When you start up steam engines from cold, you get a lot of condensation. As a Sentinel on the engine which holds all the valves open, it's called a drain setting, and that allows the steam to go through the engine, condense and run out as water. This valve is fastened in the exhaust manifold, it screws in, there's a wire cable on there, you pull the cable and it opens that valve and that allows the water to run out of the bottom of the valve instead of simply going up the chimney which is exactly what you don't want. The problem this valve has got is it's leaking all the time around here, it's pissing out when it shouldn't be. So I'm going to take it apart and have a look, it's probably just a, a, a tape on seat in there, a tape on seat on there which I want remachining recutting and then putting back together. Quite an interesting affair. I have that shape on there because when the water and steam goes out that spins and stops the seat from sort of stopping in one place and keeps it moving around all the time. There's a couple of little split pins on that rod through there which I hope is free. It is. That could have been seized in there but luckily it's not. Contain that spring. Simple enough, like a little ball end that goes in there. That reminds me of a mini clutch arm on the, on the old fashioned minis that used to used to wear away. Right, we've actually got a flat seat, not a tapered one, and it is quite badly pitted and marked. So that's why it's been leaking, leaking past there. So we need to lap this in onto that face. I don't know if I'm going to machine it again or just lap it in. I might take a very, very fine cut off it because it is quite badly pitted. But it's as simple as that. You've got water and steam on that side. Pull the valve open and that stops it from leaking. Simple but very, very effective. This will be made out of bronze. And that's quite a nicely made casting. I've got a really sharp tool set up just to skim that. And what I'm going to do is take a cut off the off outside just to see what sort of finish it gives before I commit myself to machining the real thing. Bastard telephone. That's splendid. I'll go with that.
Okay, so that's a nice full width seat. Happy with that. Definitely clean the lathe time. Right, so what a nice clean seat, both sides, a little bit of fine lapping paste and just gently lap that into there. I'll give it a bastard. Go with a little bit of coarse first. Doesn't take very much, just a couple of little bits on there like that. You can see what's made it into a, a nice matte finish, just took the shine off it. That means it's seating all the way around. A little bit of coarse on there, sorry, a little bit of fine on there now, and it'll be good to go. Keep turning it so you corner a different part of the seat. A bit like rain and car flowers in, I suppose. Oh, it's exactly the same. Right. Right, happy with that. You can see the difference how oh, that's a, a shiny finish and that's a matte finish. Yep, really happy with that. Make sure all the nasty grain and pierce out of it. I'm going to put a little bit of this high temperature lube into there, it won't do any harm. A little bit on there. So basically, that goes, which way does it go? That goes like that, and the spring goes in between there. That's the way it's been because you can see the wear on that side. I've machined a couple of washers just to give the spring a little bit more tension because it's bound to be tired after a hundred years of pushing that valve shut.
I feel about a little bit more tension on not a, not a vast amount more but just enough to give it a little bit extra push I suppose split pin back in there Then we'll lash out and put in your wallet. I've got a little box of old split pins here. Um, they're actually nice shaped split pins compared to the modern stuff. That's a modern split pin, which is <laughs> shite. And that's the old one, which actually looks like somebody cared when they made it. And it's where I am, I suppose. My little box will eventually run out. That's all you need, you don't need to go daft and tie them in knots just like that. I'll try and get a little bit of film of this actually on the engine uh, to show how it works, or on the wagon to show how it works, but that. Should not leak now. Could you do me a big favour? Yes, Pat. Can you sort this out? You put it away and then you get it out and you've, lo you've lost a, um, a peg of it. A foot? A foot, yeah. Well, can you not manage the way it is? Well, no, because it just wobbles, man. I burn my fingers. It's like putting one of your things without a leg on. Okay, I'll mend it on. So I've just been told that I can make bits for steam wagons, but I won't make a part for her. So I'm going to make a new foot for her ironing board that seemingly I've lost. It's a bit of plastic there, I'm sure I'll be able to find something similar to that inside of there. That should be a nice slip on fit. I'll reduce this down a little bit, it's not going to be exactly the same as the other one because I've got to give us something to moan about, I suppose, where it'll be, it'll be pretty in here. Tip's quite badly warm, I'm sure it'll be alright for cutting a little bit of plastic.
look at it. Horrible bastard stuff. I've got some angle more or less the same as what's on there. I don't think it's that critical to tell you the truth, but getting the length right is going to be the difficult bit. Because we don't want it piss wobbling about because you'll not like it. Right, it was about two mil or one and a half here. Make it sit perfectly level. That's it? Yeah. Happy with that? Yeah. Fit for purpose? Fit for purpose. See, that's why you need a lathe. <laughs> Have the wife out. Right, get on the island.